What's up guys, John here, and in today's lesson I wanna talk a little bit about practicing and taking a tip from Howard Roberts. You may have had this feeling where you're practicing and maybe you're putting in the time, but you just feel like, man, I'm not getting the results that I want. Or some days it just feels like you're pulling a train uphill, and then other days it's like, wow, you're on top of it and you, you feel great, you feel like you can play anything. So there's this interesting diagram in this Howard Roberts book that sort of talks about this, and it's just kind of cool to keep in your mind as you're going through these different stages of your playing. Now I know there's people that follow me that are guitar players, but this isn't necessarily just for guitar players. It could be for any instrument. I first heard about Howard Roberts when I I was going to school at UCLA, my private guitar instructor said, you should check out this guy, Howard Roberts, you know? I started looking into his music and checked out a lot of his, he has a lot of amazing instructional books that are just, they're fantastic. I learned so much from them. And one of them that I got was this book called Super Chops. And the idea is that if you follow his regimen in 20 weeks, you'll have jazz guitar super chops. And so I, this was in like my heavy jazz phase and I followed it to the T. I did everything. I woke up every day and you had to practice for specific amounts of time, set a timer and uh, check off these boxes. It was like, okay, do this step. And then once you're done, you actually checked it off and you wrote like the tempo that you were at and all this stuff. So check this book out if you're interested in something like that. But here's the quote. In the growth process, we all go through periods in which we are activating new nerve junctions, both in the brain and throughout other parts of the body. This type of growth work draws a tremendous amount of systematic energies. The overall physical feeling is like pulling a train uphill, and the psychological spinoff is the feeling that we are getting nowhere. This will persist for some period of time. We then tend to go into a natural state of rest, a plateau. During this rest period, we tend to feel that we have the world by the tail and that great progress is taking place. Actually, the reverse is true. The progress was made during the uphill climb, not during the rest period. The rest period will continue for some period of time, don't worry about it. Then the road will become very rough again and we will begin to become aware of our weaknesses. This will last until we select the specific area to attack first. We will then begin the uphill climb again and plateau again, only to meet our deficiencies face to face again. So on and on it goes, but your practice regimen must remain constant. So there it is. So whatever stage that you're at, keep this in mind and realize that when you're putting in that work and it feels like you're going nowhere, that's actually where it's at. So if you feel overwhelmed with guitar playing, that's good. If you feel overwhelmed, just sit back and be like, I'm making progress. This is good. All right, guys, that's it for today. Make sure you subscribe for more videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also, if you want a free PDF in the link below, over 100 pages of exercises and licks over major, minor, and dominant chords, click that link, and we'll see you in the next video.